So we did make it here to Buenos Aires, but things didn't quite go to plan. Um, we slept in on Friday morning. We were supposed to wake up at 4 a.m. We actually woke up at 4.40 a.m. We were woken up by our taxi calling us to let us know that they were downstairs. So we took about 10 or 15 minutes to quickly get changed, grab our things. I still had to pack a couple of last minute items, made it down to the taxi, uh, over to the airport. The good part was we did get to the airport very early, so we were able to get a little bit of breakfast. Now, one thing that I hadn't actually realized is that you only need a your ID card if you're a Chilean citizen and you're traveling through a lot of these South American countries, so I haven't actually showed my passport at all. Can you hear that? Then we arrived at our hotel and it turns out they didn't have our booking. And so I showed him the, the email that we had um, he has a look, says, so okay, so you've clearly made a, a booking here, has a look through, it turns out the booking had gone through for June, not for January, and so he said, all right, I'll, I'll let you in, that was just a, an error. We were given these green tab things to lock up our suitcase, which seemed a good idea at the time. The only problem is we can't actually get it open now, because you need a knife or some scissors or something to do that, and well, I don't bring knives or scissors on flights because you're not allowed to take sharp objects. Pretty much the main thing we did on the Friday was go on a walking tour. It was really interesting, about three hours. It went from the Congress building through to the Pink House, which is their presidential palace. Lolita was our tour guide, big tour group of about 30, maybe 40 people. Just about everyone wanted to do it in English, so we weren't able to take it in Spanish, but she did do it really well. Talked about a range of different things. Um, some architecture, some history, some politics, some culture, really went through the, the major history of Argentina. This one building which was designed based on the, um, the concepts of things like the, the seven levels of hell and uh, purgatory and the idea that you go through an elevator to go through hell and purgatory and then just as you get to the end of purgatory you, you get out of the elevator and you have to go up these stairs to get to the very top level which is a lighthouse and that lighthouse represents heaven. And we also, we started off at the Congress building and it's got this massive fence all the way around it, just like most of the monuments do. But the, the, the fence goes all the way around the front of the building and that gate at the front of the Congress building is only ever opened once and that is for the president to walk through and open a Congress. And symbolically, you know, we both thought that was actually quite, um, quite a sad thing that it represents a building that's not open to the public and represents monuments that aren't open to the public. <laughs> this street is massive. It's like 44 lanes or something. It's not like that. <laughs> what is it, 24 lanes? 28, 18? Look at it. At the other end is the presidential palace and next to it is the cathedral, which is um, was the Pope to the current Pope's cathedral. It doesn't look much like a cathedral, it looks like this sort of Roman building, but if you look at it from afar you can see in the distance, you know, the, the um, cross at the back and you can see some symbols which are quite, quite Christian at the front and apparently inside is uh, buried San Martin who is the, you know, the revolutionary hero of Argentina. And then we took the subte which is Buenos Aires' uh, metro. to a store called La Gruta which has all these sort of precious stones and, uh, and crystals and the like and Denise had quite a good time there and, and got quite a few, some that you can't get in Chile. At the end of all that we just came back and rested because we're very tired. We had about two hours sleep last night, Denise had two hours sleep the night before. So I'll um, get back to you with some more after that. <laughs> 